Hello fellow fans, I'm Fangirl Overlord Lucy and today we talk about Hufflepuff and why it is in fact a great and severely underrated house. I have 10 points just like with our Slytherin video and it may surprise you that I am in Hufflepuff colours today. Don't worry Snake Squad, I have not given up on you but we have got to breath present and help out our little Hufflepuff who were down there with the bad reputation with us. Let's get started. Probably one of the best things about Hufflepuff and our first point is just how good they truly are. Hufflepuff has a great reputation be the blah, blah, blah. wow girl, a great reputation for being friendly and good, loyal, hard working cinnamon buns. What more could you ask for? How could they not be a great house? Being sorted into Hufflepuff is basically being told you are in fact a good person. My next point and possibly the best point on the entire list is Cedric Diggory. He does not even need a description for you know how truly great he is and he also upholds an amazing legacy for all Hufflepuffs. Look how beautiful we can all look in yellow. Being in Hufflepuff is not just being told that you are a good person, it's being told that you are an attractive person. Number three, Hufflepuff seems to have a no judgment policy. So it doesn't matter who you are, who your parents are, or who your friends are, Hufflepuff will accept you mud, blood, or not. Seriously, I'm gonna get flagged for using such foul language in this video. Hufflepuff has an advantage I wish our snake squad had. They're right next to the kitchen. The kitchen! And being as friendly as they are, I'm betting they can convince that kitchen staff to give them extra food all the time. Yep. Point number five. I can't make a Hufflepuff video and not mention Fantastic Beasts. So here it is. I've mentioned it. Point number six. Hufflepuff is actually J.K. Rowling's favourite house. As a Slytherin who was told to stop romanticising Draco, this hurts a little bit, but I'm still going to romanticise Draco and pretend that Hufflepuff is not her favourite house. I'll be fine. I swear. Point number seven. There is no real evidence to this point, but bear with me for a minute. Hufflepuffs are good with children. Where does this theory come from? Well, let me explain. A study was once done on children to see which colours make them happier or more depressed based on the colour of their room. Apparently purple depressed small children, so my room is bad for toddlers, but yellow and soft colours make them quite happy and therefore improve a child's life. Hufflepuff is always in fact wearing yellow and we're incredibly nice and have a no pressure society working for us at working for us. I'm not even in Hufflepuff. Whatever. I wish I was in Hufflepuff, but I am Slytherin because I cannot be nice to people. That is my problem. The point is, small children like yellow and a non-pressure environment is very good for small children. Henceforth, Hufflepuff are great with children babysitting and great at parenting by default. You can call it far-fetched, but I'm sticking with it and it is now my firm belief that Hufflepuffs are the best parents in the Harry Potter universe. Number eight. Yes, I am very scared of putting up the wrong amount of fingers again. So, Just like their mascot, the honey badger, Hufflepuff is cute, sounds sweet and lethal, 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 lethal as all hell. Number nine. You can sense my fear. Despite being called weak by the fandom and other such people, Hufflepuff stood their ground and fought for Hogwarts. It takes courage to do that and so we have to admit Hufflepuff could be just as brave and bold as the red and gold but they don't like to boast about it which therefore would make them a better version of Gryffindor but I don't want to start a house war, so I'm not going to confirm or deconfirm that theory of mine. Number 10. Unlike my snake squad, <coughs> Hufflepuff has created a very, very, very few dark wizards with the least amount of dark wizards 
in the Harry Potter universe. Take it as you will. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for Hufflepuff. As always, love ya, see ya, bye. Have a Hufflepuffin' day.